In this DaVinci Resolve 19 tutorial, I'm going to show you how to reveal text behind a moving object. Recently, I used this for a client's project and I realized it's actually not that hard. It's similar to something we have done before and the best part, no need for any complex fusion work. I will walk you through it so you can easily do this yourself using just our timeline and the color tab. If this tutorial helps you, don't forget to like and subscribe. But let's get started. All right, I've already opened DaVinci Resolve 19 and I've imported my media here to the media pool. Then I dragged and dropped it here and I already have on the video one timeline my video I want to use. In that case, it's just the video without the audio. So I selected it here and just double click on that one and then I drag and drop the video down here. All right, now we have the video, but we need the video a second time. So I will select it. I will go with Ctrl C, then I go in the timeline here and Ctrl V, and then I have the video twice now here in my timeline, but I want to have it on the timeline three, video three. So I move it up. Now we have a video on the top and the second one down below. This is important because we need to mask something. In that case, we want the text here. When the cup is leaving, we want to have the text good morning here. What we will do here, we go to the toolbox, go to titles, select a simple text one and drag and drop it in between the two timelines. So in video two, you have the title. It's a bit longer than my videos, so I will adjust it that they have the same length. Okay, great. So. All right, the next step is that we want to give him a text, but we cannot see the text because it's under the video three line. So we have to disable this video track. For that, you select it. You can press this button, disable video track, or simply press D on your keyboard. Okay, after disabling this video track, you see the text already, but this only says basic title and it has not the right color I want. So the first thing I go up to the inspector here to title, just select video title and you have basic title. Instead of basic title, we use now good enter morning. All right, then we have good morning. Then we want to have a different color. I go to the color picker here and I will select this one. So we have it here and now I will select another font family. I will select a nice one, but it should be also readable. So I will pick a more bolder one. So let's see what we have here. Yeah, let's go with this one. This is quite nice. And then I will adjust it here that it's also not too big and that it's in the middle of the plate here. Let's go this position. Okay. Then I will go also on the right side and I will check maybe a bit the, the tracking and the line spacing here. Okay, then I have to move it up and make it a bit smaller that it fits in the middle. The next step is to reveal the good morning for the viewer. And therefore I enable this video track again. And now it's gone because it's under this line. But next step is to go to the color tab. The video three line is already selected. And for that, we need the reveal from the very beginning. So we go here to the beginning here where the cup is visible here. What do we need? We need a mask. So we have to cut out this area. So the cup and we want to track it that it moves away and the mask will reveal the text behind it. So everything what's there should be also transparent. So in my case, we need therefore an alpha channel. So I go to this note here and I go to this empty space somewhere and click the right mouse button and go to add alpha output. All right, now you can see here is a new dot and I will connect this line with the new one. So I have a new one. So this means this will be the alpha output. So everything what's not selected will be transparent. The next step is we have to select our cup. So for that, I will go down here to my menu and I have to select it. For that, I go to this Windows icon. Here you can select different types of masking tools. So I need this one, so I will select this. So we can select the whole cup here in detail. For that, I will scroll in a bit so you can use your scroll wheel and I will select the cup here. One, two. So I will fast forward the video because this can be boring. All right. 
And then the next step is we have to track it. So close to the window, there is the tracker menu option and you click it. And in our case, I want to track it from the very beginning to the end of the whole scene that the program recognize where I move this cup. So I will go simply on this track forward icon and click it. And we revealed the text. So let's go back to our timeline. Okay, let's watch it from the beginning. No adjustments needed. Great, and I think it was very easy and this tutorial is done. And that's it, not too tricky, right? This effect can be great for drone shots or other creative reveals. Just use alpha and pick the right layer. If you enjoyed this video, I would really appreciate it if you liked and subscribed for more helpful DaVinci Resolve tutorials. And speaking of which, check out my DaVinci Resolve playlist right here to keep learning. Got questions? Drop them in the comments and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Stay healthy, take care and I will see you in the next one.